The chatter bait I'm holding right here in my hand may very well be the best chatter bait to use in 2021. But before we hop into this video, only a small percentage of the viewers that watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. It's free. You can always change your mind later. But with that out of the way, let's jump straight into this video. So first, I'm going to talk about the bait that I have with me right here. And then I'm going to show it in action with a full afternoon of fishing. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, the bait combination I have right here is an Armstrong Outfitters Tackle Chatter Bait paired with a Guggen Baits 5-inch Dart. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know I probably just triggered half of you by saying Guggen Baits. Hear me out. I know what I'm doing here. I, I think this is the combination I'm going to use all year. Just let me explain. Now, first, let me get out of the way. Chatter Baits are my favorite baits. I've fished with them for years now. My biggest two bass came on chatter baits. If there's an opportunity to fish a moving bait, you can bet I'm gonna be throwing a chatter bait. And over the years, I've used completely different trailers. I've used paddle tails, craws, except for a soft jerk bait. Now, this whole story starts off a few weeks ago. I got my hands on some of the pre released Guggen Baits darts, which are a soft plastic jerk bait. One of the first things I noticed when I opened up the package is that the tail, instead of being horizontal like that of maybe a Zoom Fluke or a lot of the other soft plastic jerk baits, the tail was vertical. And the first thing I thought of was, what if I can use this as a trailer? And so I did, I put it on this Armstrong Outfitters Tackle chatter bait, which if you guys don't already know, I've fished with AOT chatter baits for well over a year now and they have caught me some huge fish as is with creature baits and paddle tails and, and so forth. Now let me tell you specifically what I think makes this rig stand out from any other chatter bait or any other soft plastic jerk bait. Now I can talk about Armstrong Outfitters Tackle chatter baits and why they work for hours, but this video I want to talk about this specific combination. Now for me, when I'm throwing a chatter bait, I'm oftentimes trying to mimic a bait fish. I know you can also mimic craws and whatnot, but a lot of times I'm trying to mimic shad, bluegill, other forage species. That's generally what I'm trying to go for when I throw a chatter bait. So at the pond that I normally fish at, I noticed that the bass had moved up and pushed a ton of bluegill back in this shallow cove, all the way at the back of the pond. They were chasing them up on the banks. This is late January, by the way. Chasing them up on the banks, blowing up on them out in the middle. I'm, I don't know what they did, but they had these bluegill cornered. So I had this green pumpkin grape chatterbait just lying around, and I'd been debating on throwing it. And I had these brand new Guggenbaits darts in the mail, which were California craw. And upon putting them side by side, I noticed that the colors matched really, really well. So I decided in order to mimic these bluegill, I would go ahead and put these two baits together and give it a shot. I didn't expect very much. I was just wanting to get a bite or two. Well, that's when all broke loose. I caught 45 fish over the course of three afternoons on this single chatterbait. I know a lot of you were thinking, oh, well, that was just a fluke incident. <laughs> get it? But I think there's something more to this combination than just a good afternoon or two on the water. I'm not trying to discount paddle tail swim baits in any way, shape, or form. I've caught a bunch of good fish on paddle tails. In fact, that's what I always threw on chatterbaits when I'm mimicking bait fish or bluegill. But throwing this thing in the water, it gave it a much different action than that of a paddle tail. Now talking about this combination specifically, I wouldn't be able to do this with a Z-Man, a Jackhammer, a Rage Blade, Thunder Cricket. I wouldn't be able to do this with any of those baits and here's why. One thing that I especially love about AOT chair baits is that you can fish them extremely slow. Most chair baits, you have to fish them a certain pace or they lose their vibration or they just, they don't work as well as when you're reeling it at a moderate pace. However, AOTs, you can sit there and turn your reel like this right here. I mean, just barely. And that thing is just shaking all over the place. The way that it's able to do that is the hydrodynamic blade. Two holes in the blade allow it to really slow down and you can get down into deeper water columns without having to throw a half ounce or three quarter ounce chatter bait. This is a three eighths ounce chatter bait right here. And I was fishing 15 to 20 feet of water the other day. No problem. The other thing that adds to this is the Guggen Baits dart is packed full of salt which makes it a lot heavier. So throwing it on a 3 8 ounce chatter bait already adds more weight to it, which allows you to get down deeper and fish deep if you want, or you can get your rod tip up and just burn it up shallow, which I also did in this video. I was doing all types of techniques just with this one bait, not having to change weights, not having to change trailers, nothing. It was all with this one combination. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into the action with the fishing footage surface. 
No way. No way. Did you see that? Did you see that? He ate it. It might as well be on top. That was incredible. That reminds me of Benny a lot, though. Really dark. All right. Well, he's just as feisty as Benny. See you later, buddy. The point is that these fish are chasing stuff and waking on stuff like that. That's a solid little fish too. Look at that. This one might be close to three. I don't know if I'd give him anything over, but he's solid. Hot little fish. There we go. Look at that. Super healthy. And look how he ate it too. Just right down the gullet. Choked it. And there we go. Uh, what's the best spot for him to release? All right, buddy, I'm gonna toss you. Ready? Three, two. And he's off. Man, I don't even care though. I'm just having a blast targeting this fish. There's a fish on it. He's got it. <laughs> he chased it out from that grass. It's not even a bad fish. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And there's a solid getting close to three pounds look at that all right he's unhooked another solid two and two and a half getting close to three pounds look at him look at that wake look at that's how shallow it is up here see look at him you can see how far out look at that. you can still see him going wow that's how shallow these fish are the right where i just threw my last cast i got one <laughs> Well, there we go. Hey, it's a chider bait. I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, this is shallow. I'd be amazed. No way. <laughs> I just got bit. Oh, I finally had one take the tail. He just grabbed the tail on it. Well, I'll keep throwing it. Oh! No way! He just came up and just. That was that one fish that just blew up was no more than like a pound, but he wanted it. Okay. I should have been the head. He got it. <laughs> it's a baby. I, I I literally I felt it hit him in the head when it fell. That was so cool. Oh my. This is a freaking football. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, a bird's tried to got him or a turtle right there. <laughs> wow. Well, buddy, I'll give it to you. You're an ambitious one. Right there. Two little dinks up in like a foot of water. Another well, small one, but up shallow. There he goes. I'm honestly curious how many bites I can get because I had a much bigger one eat it. I'm being honest, for how territorial bass are, it's amazing how many there are stacked right back here. That is the third fish that I have caught out of this like 15 by 15 foot circle. None of them have been big, but is the third one that I've got. Here we go, number three out of this mud hole back here. All right, now let's start kind of diversifying. Let's start out here in this channel. Here's one. None of these are big. None of these are big, but they're just all over the place. And you know what too, they're they are eating a lot. Look at that, you see that fish? Just look at that, you see that? Did you see that weight back there? I know you guys saw that. Let's see if I can get him to come up and eat it right on the surface. Right there is where he missed it. That's not a bad one. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> that sounded so good on the hook set. Wow. <laughs> he smoked it. Wow, that is just so cool. I missed him once and I just saw him come up and eat it right underneath the surface. That's epic. There he goes. This dart is finally starting to get worn out a little bit. After 30 fish on it, it's finally starting to wear down. So there you have it, the AOT Guggenbaits Dart Combo Shatterbait. Would you fish this bait? Leave a comment down below, as well as your favorite color of chatterbait. I love hearing from you guys and what works in your area of the country, so please leave a comment down below. Also, if you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you won't miss any future videos. So, well, I guess that's it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Fishing with James.